Okay, now that we've started out and we've made our chain, I will show you how to make a single crochet. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to crochet one, one, more, one more chain. And we're going to single crochet not in that first chain, but the second chain from the hook. Okay, so we just go in the chain, grab our yarn, and bring it through the two loops. That's it. Okay, we'll do that again. Go into the next chain. Very good. Bring it through. We have two loops on our hook. Grab it and bring our yarn through. Next, we'll go through the next chain. Grab our yarn. Bring it through both of those loops. And basically this is what you're ending up with right here, in this, this little pattern right here. So we'll go through the uh, next ones here, and just get those going. So we go through the next one, grab our yarn, bring it through, same thing, next loop, go through, bring it through the two loops. And it's very easy to get your chain twisted, so just try and keep it straight um, with your braids kind of towards you. We'll go through the next one, bring it through, and you'll notice that it kind of crinkle up on you, but that's okay. It flattens out the more the more crochet goes on there. Okay. Next loop. And next one. Nope, I missed it. It's kind of hard to crochet and watch the video at the same time to make sure I'm on screen and in focus. So um this is a this is a little harder for me. Okay, go through the next one. And next one. I believe I only had 10 on here. Okay, and the last one next to the knot. Very good. And then what we'll do to kind of turn it around and start a new row is I'm just going to chain one, turn that work around, and that's what the back looks like. You'll notice that when you look at these, I'm just going to kind of hold that in place. Um, this is the one that you just chained the one, so you'll skip that one. And we're going to go ahead and go into the next one. But now, instead of just one piece of yarn, there's two on the top. And I tend to like to go through um, the two. Some people will say um, in, in crochet patterns, you know, go through the front only or the back only. But for these purposes, just to learn how to do a single crochet, we'll just go through the top. So this first one we'll skip where we chain the one and we'll start in the second one. And it's really easy because there's a pretty big hole right here to go into. Um, that's why I like going through both of them. So we just go through the hole and bring it through. Same thing for the next one. We'll go through the hole and you'll notice that there's your two right there. There's your two uh, loops right there. So you'll just go th right there, bring your yarn through and through to both of those uh, both of those loops on your hook. So that's pretty much it. This is single crochet and the reason I'm only chaining one, I mean there's no real rhyme or reason. Some patterns you'll see they'll say chain two or don't chain any. I'm just chaining one so it just looks a little better as I graduate upwards. Okay, and we'll just finish this out. You can stop the video at any time if you feel like you have this under your belt and you're comfortable with it. 
that's pretty much the um, the single crochet. So when your pattern says SC or single crochet, this is what they're talking about. Just one single crochet. And we'll just finish this row. And there are lots of patterns, um, especially the amigurumi patterns, um, that require a lot of single crochet. So if you feel like you need practice with this, this is a, a great, amigurumi is a great way to practice those single crochets and also to learn how to make different shapes with your, with your crochet besides just flat things. Now with the single crochet, what you can do with this is you can make a trim for something. You can make, well, with this small of something, you know, this, this would be like a little, I don't know, like a little square for a quilt. And then you could sew all the little squares together. You could make it a little bigger and make a um, washcloth and embroider it. There's so many different things that you can do with this single crochet pattern. So I hope, I hope you learned something. I always do. And uh, craft on. Mm -hmm.